Hello everyone and now welcome. Welcome to a game between Hawk versus Happy. Happy spawning as the blue undead over here on the bottom right hand side of the map. Chaos Frost V, thank you for the 18 month sub. I didn't, well, wasn't clear enough to, well, say that last time. So thank you very much. And for all you guys who are watching out there on YouTube, if you do have a free Amazon Prime or a Prime TV subscription to go ahead and use, not Prime, not Prime TV, Twitch TV, Twitch Prime, uh, you guys know what I mean. If you guys have a Twitch Prime membership free to use because you have Amazon Prime, do definitely uh, consider supporting the channel um, with things going the way they are, trying to figure out, um, well, actually getting dropped sponsorship from YouTube for a little bit. I'm not quite sure um, if I'll be able to keep going, so every little bit definitely does help. Um, there is also a Patreon link in the link below. And once again, I'm not doing this for the money, but if it wasn't for the money, I don't think I can be doing this. I don't know if that makes any sense. Um, I get about, on a good month, back in the day, um, for the past two years, I got about maybe $250, enough to pay the internet bill and, and you know, you know, just take care of little things around the house as well. Um, but um, as a hobby, um, there are other things I could be doing with my time or spending more time with my family as well. So um, if you guys in, are enjoying it, please definitely consider supporting. But that's as much time as I'll take. First two minutes is already almost up as Hawk has spawned as... Well, let me change the colors here. The colors, there we go. Hawk has spawned as the orange um, human player over here on the top left. Greetings, Proto. Hope you enjoyed it this cast as much as we will and i hope so too archmage good day crota good day yep always great to see everyone as we are going to be seeing an archmage coming on out it looks as though hawk is going to be trying to militia clear out a creep camp and it's going to be this high ground creep camp here after pulling away some of those other creeps going after that forest troll high priest forest troll high priest with inner fire is rather difficult to take out and what is this happy is expecting to see Hawk actually go for an expansion, and that is gonna not be the uh, not be the case. Yeah, overlay is working. Um, I did what every, any good software engineer does. I tried to reinstall it, and it actually works. I don't know if I fixed anything, or if it was well, or if it was anything that I actually did. Anyways, Forest Troll Trapper gonna go ahead and finish things up here as the Archmage cleans things up as well. Coming back down here, Death Knight is sitting at a little bit of experience, but will perhaps be surprised to see that Hawk's um, Archmage is already at level 2. Decent amount of experience, and now going after these giant sea turtle creep camps. This map does benefit Hawk in being able to use defend very effectively to clear out some of these creep camps as well. Um, these sea turtles um, are medium armor and also... Um, deal piercing damage making that one two blow rather nasty all right looking at a little bit of damage coming across here death knight taking some from that fireball the archmage plus three damage from that mantle of intelligence vampiric aura also online and well happy realizes he cannot put pressure on with the death knight as the death knight is simply too low level and trying to do harassment with all of those low hit point skeletal minions just wouldn't work all right vampiric aura coming to an end here tide warrior gonna get finished up as we are looking at hawk i thought i saw hawk trying to upgrade to tier two earlier did he cancel it purposely and then and now setting up an expansion that would be a beautiful head fake i'll have to confirm with chat so it's been a while ch and I, I don't know, I really do like Tidehunters. Tidehunters has just been an absolute blast of a map um, just to s see different types of strategies. A lot of, a lot of walkways as opposed to Concealed Hill where there isn't as many walkways. There's narrow trope points here as well. It does play well for a good combination of units rather than just saying having a lot of those frontline units too. So in World of Warcraft, I have about 19 characters. Every one of them is different than the last. Mm. World World of Warcraft, the rise and fall of Warcraft overall. As we're looking at the Death Knight, double gloves of haste. Going to be very fast attack speed. Acolyte going to perhaps be taking a little bit of damage here. As we're going to see the Scout Tower now, well, quickly get taken down. Peasant trying to run on inside. He will not be able to get inside there. Another Peasant was taking his place. As the Death Knight is actually taking quite a bit of damage. He's not going to be able to stick around easily. But he is going to get two easy Peasant kills. As a third Peasant could get taken down. But the Crypt, crypt Queen also gets taken down in the process one 
one low hit point peasant actually able to stay alive, actually constantly dodging beautiful micro coming in from Hawk as the Archman sit, sits strong at level three. Um, yeah, the tile, the new tile set is definitely refreshing. Not everything is played on a grassy meadow. Death Knight now making its way back off to the north here. We are, um, we're looking at the Footman now wandering forward here. Still no tech to tier 2. Acolyte going to come across here. Quickly see what's going on as Hawk now picking up a Goblin Shredder. Acolyte does get taken down and Hawk shouldn't have any lumber issues, at least not for a little while. Now this Vampiric Aura actually benefiting Hawk quite a bit. He um, Normally I would say that a human player's need to, uh, not having their arcane vault is one of the major setbacks because or needing to build an arcane vault is one of the major setbacks for uh, going for an expansion since you are going to be significantly delayed in your arcane sanctum the arcane the vampiric aura uh, which is only a 15 percent um 15 still able to keep these uh, footmen decent on health as opposed to all being in the yellow by doing that well the Archmage is able to save a little bit more gold and, well, perhaps make a little bit more plays maneuvers. Tech to tier 2. Now, we are seeing a Lumber Mill now being thrown down. And I don't know if we have Defend as of yet. No, Defend is now being researched. All right, research, researching Defend, very key. Off to the north here, you can see a very heavy, uh, very heavy piercing damage creep camp. You finish off that Ogre Magi and then everything else is pretty much easy to take down. Same, um, same thing here, the Apprentice Wizards, two melee and then a lot of piercing damage as well. Making the footmen on this map very useful. Alright, is Hawk going to be going after this Ogre Magi creep camp? Yes he is. Drops a Water Elemental, throwing up the Fen and here goes the battle. Meanwhile, Death Knight down to the south here alongside that Lich. Lich is already out on the battlefield as well. Sorry, um, moving things around my desk. I have this nice clear area for my desk um, for casting, keeping things all in order. And apparently nice clear areas is exactly where my children like to throw markers, pens, and other doodads and, and maneuver and, well, take or my... Yeah, take my mouse. Um, well, that'd be my wife taking my mouse because she forgot hers at work. And then now it's all like tangled up with all of my other sound equipment. So a little bit of difficulty there. Good afternoon, Dust Wallow Dweller. Archmage already sitting at level four, finishing off the rest of this Murloc Tide Warrior creep camp. And once again, you can see that this Vampiric Aura, a Vampiric Aura is definitely helping out with the overall health of all of these units. If it has pretty much replaced the Scroll of Regeneration and the Arcane Vault, allowing for a blacksmith um, to be built here. And this is, what is this? This is like classic, classic towers. All right. This style of play is very reminiscent of, oh, 2006 to 2010. Infi, known to build tons and tons of towers and then playing these very long, long games, just trading very efficiently. Beautiful denial on that one footman here as the obsidian statues are trying to run away from those water elementals. However, it's going to give level two to the Lich and well give a little bit more experience to um, this Lich as well. Death Knight purposely backing away. Just saw the new Echo Isles on YouTube. Looks interesting. New layout, extra gold mine, new, two new green creep camp. Yeah, and uh, plenty of optimizing to do for the pros also new pathways the bottom right and bottom left hand side of of the new echo isle is not one way in one way out the layouts of the trees are different and all of those things will make a big impact on the game a town is under siege. all right Coming back off to the north here, Death Knight. Well, sees a whole bunch of guard towers. Is he going to even want to try and pressure this? I don't believe so. Meanwhile, Archmage may be forced to pull back here. Destroyer is already out onto the battlefield. This could be a problem. And are we going to be looking at the classic, classic um, flying machines and knights um, alongside, while well, fighting alongside a whole bunch of guard towers? That could be the style or play right now as this peasant quickly takes the place of his the fallen brethren only to see that wait a second perhaps that is not a good idea workshop trying to be added in here more repairs getting underway 41 over 48 supply death knight acting as a pin cushion but he can only take so much damage losing quite a bit of mana as well meanwhile pressure back on the other side here footman trying to finish off some of these acolytes acolytes however able to heal very easily and 
one Archmage going up against a Destroyer, just not enough here. So much damage to be had as the Death Knight and the Lich are very decent in terms of experience. Destroyer, oh my, so toxic. 850 hit points, well, yeah, 850 hit points on a flying unit. Um, very difficult to take out for water elementals as well. The destroyer actually devours magic, replenishes some of those hit points, and then can go after those remaining units as well. Archmage could be in trouble, down to 97 hit points. However, magic damage doesn't add up very quickly. There's another devour magic to get some more additional, um, additional hit points and additional mana to deal more damage. Destroyer continuing to fight back here. Um, yep, Val um, give Water Elementals a powerful piercing unit um, to go up against air, but then give anti-air bonus magic damage and the ability to heal for a destroyer on that Water Elemental, and suddenly Water Elementals just look tasty for those destroyers. Coming back through, we are going into Workshop, we are going into Flak Cannons, we are going into Double Racks, Knights are being trained, and Guard Tower Level 2 Masonry Training is done. The Guard Towers will now have 600 hit points, um, instead of, well, in the old, good old days where Human reigned Supreme with Sky and Infi and Tho, they would already have 700 hit points, and then the third Masonry upgrade would pretty much already be enough. Yeah, they should really use all the different tile sets too. Sunken Runes and Northrend seem to be used a little more often these days, but Draenor is still absent. Majority is still Lordaeron or Call of Kalimdor Forest. Yeah, balanced. I think they're probably top among all the units. Yeah, Destroyers, Destroyers are a 5 supply unit, um, but their utility is very, very high, and it and it's a little bit of an escape, right? Because Obsidian Statues, once they're low on mana, they they don't have any real usefulness, right? So, and, and, and that's the problem there. Once they're low on mana, all you can really do is convert them to destroyers as there is, there's no easy way to get mana back into the Obsidian Statue. If, if there was a way to like, um, like return an Obsidian Statue back to the Slaughterhouse and for maybe a third of the cost, give it back full mana, that, might be a way like you know just like kind of re refueling your car after it's on empty doing the same thing for the obsidian statue but then you get into that weird scenario where the destroyers might just constantly absorb mana from obsidian statues and then you're just constantly refilling and then well that's gonna be an absolute nightmare as well anyways coming back around a quick quick web onto those units knights trying to engage with knights well Flying Machines going after the Destroyers, Crypt Fiends going after um, those Flying Machines, Cyclone now onto that Paladin, Divine Shield on the Archmage, or uh, well, uh, Potion of Lesser and Vulnerability on the Archmage, Holy Light onto the Archmage just in time, more Frost Nova going down, Staff of Sanctuary, beautiful save right there, Archmage, Paladin keeping each other alive quite well as the Knights are trying to go after the Crypt Fiends so the Crypt Fiends don't take down the Flying Machines. All right, this beautiful battle going across 69 supply compared to 41. And somehow Hawk is the one being forced to retreat, even though he has almost a 20 supply advantage. All right, 20 supply advantage doesn't matter. Apparently a couple of Crypt Fiends, did they get taken down? No, I don't believe so. Paladin did get to level two. So some of those Crypt Fiends were lost here. Death Knight now running in the opposite direction. Peasants now trying to make their way through. Knights are going to try and engage here. Lich is actually rather low on mana, but does have a wand of mana stealing as well as Orb of Fire is going down. Lich could be in trouble and Lich is going to get taken down. Level four, Lich going to fall. It gets taken down right there. Mountain King may try and follow up, get a Storm Bolt off on a Crypt Fiend. No, doesn't see it in time. Mountain King does have boots of speed, but not really giving chase. All right, a crazy battle right there. Hawk, um, Hawk able to well, do some serious damage. Meanwhile, fly machines are looking around. Lich is resurrected. We do not see any expansion underway by Happy at all. Meanwhile, we're going to take this opportunity for Hawk to try and clear out the difficult creep camps in the top right. Perhaps the Paladin and or Mountain King can get to level 3. All right, Fly Machine Knights going to town here. Granite Golem, however, does quite a bit of damage onto all of those units. Fly Machine's now still overhead. Archmage purposely backing away. Doesn't want to take any of this experience at all, but a Granite Golem with so, um, constant well constant claps able to deal so much damage there's a bash right there kagar's pipe of insight 
not the item that the Mountain King was hoping for and does not get to level 3 on any of those units. Squadron of Flying Machines still overhead. Hawk sitting on 1600 gold has not gone into that mid 70s supply that I expect him to um, you know, before pushing against his opponent. Meanwhile, Flying Machines are just keeping track of his opponent as we are now going into the Temple of the Dam. Banshees, mastery training, we are going to be going into possession. All right, possession, a big, big deal for those Banshees to try and take back those Knights. Knights are such a big, uh, big investment for the human player to try and counteract and deal with fly, deal with Crypt Fiends. And, even, and, and, you know, a bigger, better target they are now. Uh, well, a, a better counter they are now that they have those Sundering Blades by default. Um, Sundering Blades... Uh, well, an invention in the past year and a half. One of the benefits, I guess, of Warcraft 3 Reforged. Um, the Blizzard team looking at the human versus undead matchup and going, huh, maybe we should uh, let the knights actually deal more damage to those Crypt Fiends. We won't actually let the knights get closer to, to those Crypt Fiends because, you know, Undead has Unholy Aura, and even though the knights are supposed to be fast, mobile units uh, riding on those horses, um, well... Well, um, if they do finally get an attack off, well, they have to deal with Frost Armor on that Crypt Fiend, and they won't get a second hit anyways. I don't know. I think my human bias is showing just a little. The win rate of Undead with Destroyers is pretty substantial. That That is true. That That is true. All right. Second base now coming in from Hawk. So this is going to be a three-base human going up against a one-base Undead. Now... We've seen, we've seen Happy often go for these one base plays, unsummon a lot of buildings at the end, and then try and push out. Um, we'll see if that is actually going to come out to work. If that play is going to be coming, yeah, a lot of salt. Metaphysics is just making fun of me. I don't even play Warcraft 3 all that much. I just, I, you know, I whenever I have nightmares of Warcraft 3, I guess I'm a human player and I'm getting beaten down by destroyers and my my riflemen can't focus them down because they're getting death coiled and frost nova or they can't get within range and, and and flying machines are just getting webbed down by crypt fiends ah oh, nightmares nightmares i still hate destroyers plus web the crypt fiends still seems unfair <laughs> all right coming back through across here obsidian statue now wandering back off to the north here lich and death knight actually just getting a lot of bonus experience here you got to be careful um happy you give constant free experience it is a bit of a problem. Now, we are looking at even cannon towers added in. Um, siege armor on the cannon tower, making them very difficult to get taken down by those by those Crypt Fiends. Um, it's, uh, it's a shame that the, the siege damage does reduce the damage to art to medium, which is really what you want those Crypt Fiends to, to be trying to get taken out here. Anyways... The range on that cannon tower is 800 range. It does attack rather slow, but does deal a little bit of splash, just like life. Um, yeah, well, anyone who tells you that life is supposed to be fair is is trying to sell you something. I mean, right? Like, you don't get to choose who your parents are. You don't get to choose if um, if you know your parents are like Jeff Bezos, Elon Musk. You don't even get to choose if if your parents are if you're both your father and your mother or um, or if you have two parents um, at all, right? Those are all very very uh, those all impact your life in pretty dramatic ways, and not everyone is um, not everyone is like that. Yeah, just look at Thunder. Are you trying to say that your kids have it bad? Yeah, not all not all children have two parents yelling at them some of them are only lucky enough to have one only one <laughs> all right death knight lich now making their way back out here knights ready to go well that, that's a pretty good joke right like, like that's a pretty good, i like that one 
All right, anti-magic shell, banshees all ready to go. All right, mortar teams trying to fight back death coil or frost nova straight up onto the mountain king. Mountain king unable to quickly engage here. There's no thunderclap. It is going to be bash as the mortar teams plus the cannon tower is doing quite a bit of damage. Possession now onto oh, onto one knight already as the banshees are going to try and line up. Cannon towers need to try and finish off those banshees quickly, and, and the mortar teams need to finish off those banshees quickly before too many of those knights turn. And well, they have 67 supply compared to 81, and suddenly Happy taking that supply lead as well. Knights continuing to battle it up. Knights trying to fight back here. anti magic Shell doing quite a good job here as the Lich is sitting at level 5 with a very strong push. All right, Mountain King still in that frontline position. Plenty of arcane towers, guard towers still trying to fight back here. Anti magic Shell not very, not really helping out against much of anything. Mountain King unable to storm bolt, but he still has Bash, and perhaps Bash is well what everything is needed. Meanwhile, Mortar Teams could be trying to take down the Meat Wagons. A lot of damage just getting thrown up into the air. Banshees are getting taken down. We could be looking at more possessions. More Mortar Teams are trying to join in on the battlefield as well as the units are now retreating back once more. Mountain King does not have enough for a storm, but does get a bash in on another unit. New Knight joins back in on the battlefield or perhaps it was just a Knight that was Staff of Sanctuary. He needs to re-fight re re once again as the Vampiric Aura on the Mountain King really making a big difference. Staff of Sanctuary perhaps just going to be used by the Mountain King once some more triple staff of sanctuary by hawk across all three units as low hit point knights need to get retreated back are we going to see another yep holy light right there trying to save those units again water elemental is going to go back the other way perhaps trying to finish off some of those units as the knights still have the animal war training and those sundering blades trying to finish off more of those units knights are trailing or trying to chase back up death knight however with that unholy aura allowing the speed bonus for those knights i've never seen knights move so fast all right paladin divine shield just in time right before death here as more attacks are getting underway one very low hit point knight down down to 20 or 30 hit points now able to get away there was a dark ritual i believe as the lich may be able to get off another frost nova more damage coming back on through there goes a frost nova onto that mortar team as we see a handful of low hit point knights retreating back 67 um, hit points 214 and 287 we are now looking at happy starting to unsummon some of those buildings as there's less than two minutes of mining left hawk went into the went into a fight with a 20 supply advantage did was able to come out even next fight um well it was 60 supply compared to 70 suddenly happy able to take the advantage getting back up to 81 supply uh, possessing knights and now well trying to piece something together we are looking at happy he is starting to unsummon key buildings perhaps going to tr be trying to do an all-in at this point and stage in the game hawk is up on three bases three bases to one what does it take for a human player to beat hawk apparently a two base advantage is not enough coming back through curse on those knights as well two two upgrades on the knights the knights are well downgraded to zero zero no no uh, um, research at all obsidian statues working hard as we see a quick flare here to make sure and um, well hawk making sure that there is no expansion up and running by keeping track of that expansion there he's in a, in a pretty decent spot and now adding in an arcane sanctum all right arcane sanctum is well we, we see the great culling as, as well going to go ahead and go down to zero or down to 11 workers one goblin shredder um peasants here and a peasants here and, and one working that is it gonna go ahead and stay in low upkeep all right going into 83 supply now spell breakers to try and perhaps deal with those banshees removing some of those um, hit points meanwhile knights uh, well relatively still low on hit points obsidian statues um, low on mana we should be seeing them convert into destroyers here in just a moment the low hit point knight there's another flare as hawk needs to get information on his opponent's army we are looking at a 61 supply army compared to 78 90 supply compared to 66 the main difference being the amount of workers that are still out there acolytes are looking to set up an expansion over here on the bottom left very close to the opponent and range armor type plus less applied to possess uh, 
those banshees are going to be incredibly scary fragmentation tards and these mortar teams are upgraded 3-0 i don't believe the banshees will uh, should be able to um, really deal that much damage uh, but then again i have been surprised in the past coming back through knights now trying to line things up 89 supply compared to 60s 69 they're going to go into an engagement here night night almost having well level six we could see animate dead as that would be a big big damage boost as well knight's going to try and engage anti-magic cell mortar teams in the back are they going to be able to find the necessary targets as well as we see a couple of units staff of sanctuary is being used to try and stop the possession as one knight does make their way in another knight does get possessed as well so two knights already possessed here at the start banshees are all getting shell shocked though but those attacks are rather slow and able to be dodged 62 supply compared to 63 happy takes the supply lead here as the archmage continuing to fight its way through death knight gets up to level six with animate dead and suddenly an army of mortar teams now shelling back the other way all right mortar teams doing so much damage lich however in a little bit of trouble scroll of town portal being used by the archmage to try and get away damage getting added onto the lich lich down to 204 hit points as the mortar teams of happy now gonna go ahead and shell back Anim animate dead these guys are completely invulnerable you can't do anything to them and all and they can just get free damage on you all right walking on by very very painful indeed gonna go ahead and get into an engagement there's a quick holy light onto a knight trying to save that paladin in trouble paladin divine shield just in time down to 32 hit points water elementals anti-magic shell on a whole bunch of knights here 57 supply compared to 56 and really what does it take a beautiful double staff of sanctuaries keeping track of everything a hawk playing out of his mind with all of that micro only to have a nine supply advantage and almost lose his archmage archmage actually gonna get lost here surrounded by the knights he brought up and well level five archmage falls lich could get up to level six here in just a moment here there are plenty of knights hawk is in serious trouble happy has the well it looks like happy is gonna have the supply lead after all of this after a lot of knights are still trying to engage here once more all right there are still heroes back at home they are gaining experience if knights or any of these other units do fall as happy looks to retreat back there there's a death coil as the lich is still sitting at level five undead versus human night mirror yeah that's i guess that's all you can really say about that archmage sitting at level five here plenty plenty of uh, uh, guard towers here plenty of guard towers here but undead pretty much saying you know like why do i need to take why do i need to attack your base human you're human I, I i don't i don't need to attack your base like my army is always gonna beat you anyways all right so what does it take for a human a, a human um player to be happy with undead two extra bases not enough paladin mountain king here trying to hide in the back here a whole bunch of knights turning um turning the tide here zero zero upgrades on those knights compared to three three so the knights of hawk are significantly stronger yes that is true but even so 54 supply compared to 56 it feels like happy um well is just gonna be buying his time to re-get back into the swing of things a nightmare battle uh, yep it is pr well trying to go for spell breakers now would be an absolute um, going for spell breakers now your opponent does of uh, just goes abominations abominations very powerful against those spell breakers also has disease cloud that uh, that eventually makes a uh, fighting outside of um well makes healing just that much more difficult draining mana on a whole bunch of units archmage about to get resurrected yep almost back out we are looking at um well no more gold off to the north this gold mine only has about six or eight minutes of mining left meanwhile this gold mine is untouched anti-magic shell being cast down once more 9400 gold still plenty of mining for happy knights making their way around here paladin sitting at level three mountain king sitting at level three um archmage sitting at level five orb of fire drops a water elemental and here we are once more 54 supply army compared to 53 
trying to test the water, adding in some sorceresses as well. Mountain King being forced to retreat back, anti-magic shell all across the board. Goblin Shredder even joining in on the fight. Paladin with a Holy Light, right, or Divine Shield and Holy Light trying to stay alive as the Banshees are getting taken down. All right, going after all of these units as we're looking at the Knights trying to finish off perhaps some of those Banshees, perhaps some of these extra units as well. Archmage leading the charge very much, very far forward. It has to be very careful, trying to retreat back. There's a Staff of Sanctuary investing a lot of time to try and take down that unit only to see it getting backed away. Meanwhile, Paladin uses a Potion of Healing. Is he going to see a Divine Shield? No, he's not. Level 6 now on the Lich. And the Lich is just absolutely owning everything here with now perhaps having Death and Decay. Yes, we'll have Death and Decay. Mountain King trying to retreat back down to 180 hit points. Going to retreat back, but an army of knights is still looking to chase him down. Water Elementals continuing to fight back here. Oh, so much green on the board. So difficult to keep track as the Death Knight could be in a little bit of trouble. Death Knight down to 107 hit points. It's able to escape back. There is some Goblin Shredders. The Staff of Sanctuary being used right there by the Mountain King. Mountain King still somehow close to this fight here. Has to be very careful. It needs to back away. Mountain King perhaps going to try to get a Storm Bolt. Beautiful Divine Sh or Potion of Invulnerability just in time as the Death Knight sees the Mountain King throw that Storm Bolt from out of the corner. Now, Frost Nova onto a Knight here. Archmage back out here onto the battlefield. Drops a Water Elemental. And now there is just not enough healing as another knight is going to get captured. However, Staff of Sanctuary stops that surround. Blood battle going back and forth. 48 supply compared to 44. Now, at the end of this game, it almost feels like even if Hawk wins at this point, it's like, it's like, so what does a human player need to do to be happy with Undead? You need to be up on bases. You need to have... At, at, at some points, a 20 supply army advantage. You need to have a full upgrades, 3-3-3 three, 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 compared to your, your opponent's 2-0. And maybe, maybe you have a chance at beating Happy on Tidehunters. Also, you have to micro, you, micro your mind out, uh, micro out of your mind in this matchup. And, and hope you don't feed too much experience to your opponent. Level 6, level 6 right here. I, you know what? I wonder if... If, if by using possession, a Banshee uses possession, the other side gained the experience for the death of that Banshee, whether or not that would be a good balance. Like if, if it counts as a kill to the art to the side, like right, you you the other player gain, gains a knight and you, they lose a banshee and you gain the experience. I wonder if that would actually help a little bit. Archmage is sitting at level five, Paladin sitting at level three, Mountain King sitting at level four. Bash right there, uh, continuing the fight here. Fly machines going after these units. Anti magic shell on the lich as well. Both sides fighting their way through. Sorceresses continuing to battle it up. And um, well, water elementals trying to hold the line, dealing a little bit more damage. Staff of Sanctuary saving multiple units again. Flying Machines trying to take down the Destroyers in the back as the Knights are in the front line fighting against their former brethren. However, the Destroyers of Happy able to deal more splash damage across the board as they have mana and able to take down the Knights of Hawk. However, 39 supply compared to 51 now. Are the Destroyers going to be enough to deal with these last remaining units? Stormbolt onto a ban or an onto a Knight here. It looks like Happy is going to end up losing a couple more Knights here, and that's going to be 47 supply compared to 31 going back the other way. All right, low hit point. Um, low hit point water elemental gonna easily get taken down gonna get devoured here retreating back once more mountain king paladin and archmage 544 archmage almost at level six are we gonna see a storm bolt onto there no we are not paladin falls at level four as the mountain king is in a little bit of trouble that level seven death knight level six lich frost nova death quail one two combination just so deadly 46 supply compared to 29 archmage gets up to level six here is he gonna go for mass teleport yes Still a bit more gold to be had. 25 supply compared to 41. 36 supply army compared to 25. But the hero level advantage of the Lich and the Death Knight may just be too much as they are able to deal quite a bit of damage here. All right, going to try to finish off another Water Elemental, finish off some additional units. There goes a Spellbreaker. There goes a Water Elemental level 7 now on that Lich. 
level seven, level seven lich could easily start using dark ritual much more effectively. No, goes for ops for level two frost armor for a little bit more survivability. Death coil onto the destroyer just in time as the flying machines realize, wait, there's a low hit point destroyer right next to me. Why wasn't I shooting? 18 supply compared to 42. Death Knight trying to escape away. Is he going to be able to back away? Looks like he is going to be trying to uh, well, retreat back here. Death Knight able to heal back up temporarily. Then the Black Citadel is doing a bit of fighting back once more. And it looks like Hawk is going to try and put pressure over here on the expansion. Take it down and still continue to mine more gold. He has two minutes of mining left. And that may be the end of it, folks. Hawk sitting at 34 supply. Death Knight and Lich both sitting at level 7. Not going to be enough. Perhaps going to try and finish off a, la a couple, last of those couple units here. No more Obsidian Statues. There goes a Sorceress. Death Knight could be in trouble. Are we going to see a Death Coil onto that Mountain King? Mountain King trying to finish off. There's a beautiful Staff of Sanctuary as the Lich trying to get away. Death Knight could not launch. There's a Death Coil saving that Lich. Beautiful Micro still coming back across as we see the GG coming in from Happy. Happy. Um, losing this game to Hawk, a 35-minute session. All Hawk needed to do was, well, all Hawk needed to do, I mentioned it, set up an additional base, a micro much more, and, um, well, let's see what the final score was actually in the end. The level 7 Death Knight and the level 8, and the level 7 Lich almost won. That was only a 9,000 difference there. The unit score and the resource score really being the major difference in the end. The amount of gold mined and, and collected a 13,000 gold difference, not including the 5,500 gold lost to upkeep difference. Hawk um, nearly mining twice as much gold to beat Happy. Yeah, those Banshees really did a number on the amount um uh, on that battle there but happy um not getting those three three upgrades that hawk had and well three 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 upgrades going up against two zero zero upgrades enough for hawk to win let me know what you guys think in the comments below hawk did defend those expos though happy had the opportunity to punish but he didn't and it seems right well ha happy happy has won a lot of games with those well with those particular all in strategies. Uh, Tide Hunters is a map that actually, um, I what Tide Hunters and Last Refuge are are the only two maps that I can really think. Well, Northern Isle as well, but Northern Isle the layout is different. Um, uh, where um, Hawk could actually establish three bases and, and then actually try and defend them all. Um, Northern Isles is a little bit difficult. Last Refuge you um, is also a little bit difficult. Tide Hunters. Um, is perhaps the one way where Hawk was able to establish three bases and defend each of them fairly easily. On any other map, um, I think Happy would have been able to pressure much more easily. Once Hawk are, um, now has mass teleport and, it, and, well, no army for Happy, that was pretty much the end. But I really do think if Banshees possess um, a, a unit of your, an opposing army's unit, if though if that exp experience was given to that side would it play differently right would the the slight level advantage or the slight experience to the mountain king to the paladin to the archmage would that be enough to help uh, to help um, in that battle not seem so one-sided let me know what you guys think if you guys and um, yep see you guys next time